lazima ni kule juu na nyonywa na nyonywa simplest ingredients for the simplest of meals bigger than channel pick on a rich thank you so much for being patient with me and karibuni sana if you're new here this is a channel where we cook the simplest meals with the simplest ingredients that you can find just outside your door so if you are new here karibu sana again and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel guys nimewa miss nimewa hata it's been a minute since i got in the kitchen and cooked and um I don't know. I think too when I got pregnant, I couldn't just get in the kitchen and all that. So that whole feeling has been with me for months, months, months past one year actually. And um I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful that I'm back and that we have been creating so much content. First of all, Buniambieni, what happened when I was away? What happened? What happened when I was away? Okay, fine. Muniambia hapo hivyo chini kwa comment zenu. Before we go far, please like, like. Okay, let me give you two seconds of liking. Mume like. Sawa sawa. Thank you so much and subscribe as well as you like. Sawa sawa. So guys, today's recipe is going to blow your mind up because I learned how to do it in a way that you won't believe it. I know there's so many people who you should maybe cook it this way, but now I I think this is how I prefer it. This is how I prefer it and it's going to blow your mind off. So kama leo bado unafikiria kitu yenye utapika pika hii recipe sawa sawa pika hii recipe so let's go straight to our ingredients so ladies and gentlemen introducing to you our recipe today got me it with a twist come come i show you my ingredients for today so we have onions if if you're new here in this channel i love lots of onions is yet to see enough Then here I have uh, garlic. I have pili pili hoho. I have tomatoes. I have dhanias. These are coriander. I'll just um, like use them after I've cooked my food. Then I have goat meat here. This is goat meat for 500 bob. Nilinunua skinners kwa kim. So uh, this is paprika. These are beef cubes. I know we are right at I'm cooking goat meat but there's beef cubes. <laughs> This is tandoori. Tandoori is an amazing 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 spice. Uh, you can get it kwa supermarket. It makes food tastes it ikwetu na katist kingine kapoa. Oh yeah, guys, I got a new ring. <laughs> Then this is curry powder. Yeah. Alafu, lastly, we have tomato paste. Yeah. Alafu kuna mafuta ya kupikia ndio hii hapa. And of course I have my cute 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 sufurias. Got them from Kengla utensils. Here we are. We are going to start off. Sawa. Mafuta yetu. Now, we are going to put mafuta kidogo because you know goat iko na mafuta mingi. So I'm going to put little mafuta so, uh, so that our onions can cook a little bit okay my sufuria was already hot <laughs> so my guys here we are kitungu chetu kiive just give it time So if you if you're cooking if if you like me saizi I've already cooked to gali iko somewhere in atungoja but if you come in a hurry just make sure your gas is occupied hapa kuna hii hapa kuna kitu kingine na hapa kuna kitu kingine inaiva so that you can go fast by the way I can cook like three meals in one hour like the same time so if I tell you my food is going to be ready in one hour you'll actually eat that food in one hour yeah and we pick up it cut out because here we usually do uh, greens maybe nyama and uh, ugali or rice okay ni mama mimi saki si mniambie venye mmekuwa niambie ni venye tumekuwa alafu nimeona ama sijaona 
<laughs> but now, lazima ni kule ju na nyonyo wa. Na nyonyo. Mtoto na breastfeed. This recipe, I've done it before, but with ribs. How was it? Ilikuwa noma. What? Sana. It was epic. It was amazing. It was epic. Yes. So it's the same, same recipe like you make? But you now, yeah, yeah, the same recipe, but... Why didn't you come from this recipe? Yeah. And this is not the one that uh, we were telling guys on my MC the last, uh, last time. Yeah, yeah, this is another one. This is another one? Yes. This is the first one for ribs, right? Yes. The one you told guys in your in your channel was it for ribs? No. It was nyama nyama. Mm. And I'm actually cooking it. I, I'm cooking this meat now differently yeah, nice. from the other recipe. Nice. So this is different from actually what you ate. Yeah. Yes, because here I've added like two spices that I never cooked with for late, late time. Mm. Yeah. So guys, um, with my meat, I usually don't uh, let my kitungu iive yungwe. So come come show them. This is how my kitungu looks like that. A lafo. I'm going to use all the garlic. Lazima tumia nonstick, baby. Si lazima nonstick. Yeah, na tumia nonstick ju it's been long since I cooked with them. Juiko. Yeah. Actually it's been long. Ah, oh, it's been long. Ah, kukujeni. Kujeni. So, our garlic is brown. So I'm going to put in my tomato paste. If you guys can remember from our cooking, previous cooking sessions, I usually, I usually cook my tomato paste. So bukuna ka taste plani, inakuwa ganako na si kazuri, si kapendi sana. Okay? Kuna kitu ni memis, kuna kitu na need kweka chumvi. I need kweka chumvi. Like you guys. Ah, chani, leave me. Let me be. So guys, on any venue you prefer to paste, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going And now I'm going to add all my spices here. In the beef cubes. And I'm going to say it's so weird that you can goat meat, but you beef cubes. <laughs> and now everything else that I had introduced to you. So me prefer to pick a spices angu. Yeah, does it taste poa? Does it taste poa? So guys, when you put in your spices, utapata you will need to add some water. Umanaona? So, Wakaribia? Uh, you will need to add some water in your spices or rather in your kitungu. Um, dio isi shike. Yeah, so if you see the need of adding some water, you add some water. Okay. So after our spices, we may cook kiasi. Take your meat, put all of it inside, depending on how big your family is. <laughs> yeah. Make sure your meat in the mix vizur in azile spices. Then, I'm still that girl. I don't love crunchy uh, hohos. There, go. Then, you put in your tomatoes like that. Like that, okay. Then, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this one? Let me see. So, we have literally, literally brought the Indian Ocean in our meat. Literally. So we have brought the Indian Ocean all the way from Mombasa to Raira. There you go. Then you cover your meat. So this is what happens. If you boil, if you pre-boil your meat, 
it just like sucks all the... ni kama supu unasikia ngavenye supu inakuaga tamu huo tamu wa supu unakuwa umetoka kwa nyama okay so that's where you get the broth from so meaning if you let this meat cook uiweke maji uifunikie then you let it cook it means it won't um, it won't lose that flavor from itself sawa sawa so meaning if flavor yote unaona ile broth yenye unge ungechanganya maybe uweke ukunywe ama uongeze tena yote iko hapa yeah okay we're going to give this meat one hour to boil it's going to boil for one hour sawa yes it's going to boil for hour, one hour i promise you it's going to be tender na haitakuwa venye inakasai i'm out see you after one hour guys yeah. we are back after exactly one hour sawa i knew i knew ile maji the level ile level ya maji niliweka i knew itaweka itanini ita ita rudi chini after one hour that's why we're back and i want you guys to come closer and see what's happening here this is what was happening all along onene 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 kemo were you the, among the people who are criticizing my water mm. Huh? Mm. so <laughs> So you guys you can choose you can choose kuacha hii food na hii gadhufu okay jiaka ukali jiaka ukali also you can choose kuacha hii maji yote like yote ishe so nataka kimo anitestie hii nyama aniambie kama ni soft and you guys have you noticed the only time niliaka nini uh, salt was nikianzaanza and right now we don't need i don't need additional salt yeah ni kama tu kuna kuaga na yako ka grease ka kupima salt from the beginning because i really add salt on top of my food how is it soft soft right mm-hmm. yeah so one hour just like i told you guys unaona ile one hour mnatumia ngam kiboil nyama tumia eh, tumia hiyo one hour kuboil nyama kama umeikaranga already alafu oneni oneni mpaka inaachana imeiva yani mpaka inaachana na mfupa ona imeiva mpaka imeachana na mfupa oneni 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 so make sure you boil your meat kama umeikaranga okay usikaranga usiboil kwanza alafu karanga and again that saves time cuz kunini ku, ku kuboil tena ukuze tena uanze kuikaranga it's a wasted of time so as you all know coriander should always come after you've cooked your food like so check in my name what you want look at this kemo unaona maneno mabitu check in my bitus So, poleni niko na nyama kwa mdomo. <laughs> Today I'm not the one who is going to taste the food. I want Kimo to do the tasting kwa sababu nimekuwa niki test for a long time. Kimo. Kana mkie kwa hata tukali na nyama baba. Tena tena mwambie na Mhm. Imagine ile hiyo food ndio tumeweka Indian Ocean, ona venye inaka. Burn down ka. Kwa kwa kaju nota kusema ka ka ufala. Guys, make sure you try this recipe. Mm-hmm. It's so 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 good. Mm. It's actually super awesome. So. Guys, make sure you try all this recipe. Goat meat jichoche nayo, jichoche. Ambia watu ulitoa hii recipe kwa Picana Rich. Yeah. 
and make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also like 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 share if you can and god will bless you god will bless you Rich. Mm -hmm. So guys, to our next recipe. Mm. Eh.